Ah, there's nothing like the domesticated cat. They can lower stress and anxiety. Cat owners know one session of petting or playing with their cat can turn a bad day into a good one. Scientific evidence also shows that a cat's purr can calm your nervous system and lower your blood pressure. So why not get a domesticated cat? Aren't they all great? Well, in this video, we're going to tell you about a domesticated cat that you should not get. You're not going to get the warm fuzzies when you're around this cat. In today's video, we'll be discussing the Caracal cat, which is considered one of the most dangerous cats in the world. So let's dive right into things you should know about the Caracal cat. This cat's also known as the Desert Lynx or the Persian Lynx. It's a medium-sized wild cat that's native to Africa and Asia. It's also kept as a pet in some parts of the world due to its beautiful coat, striking appearance. They can have bright blue eyes and they are beautiful. With their big ears that stick up in the air, you can definitely tell this cat when you see it. However, owning a Caracal cat comes with its fair share of risks and challenges. Let's share three things you have to know about the Caracal and why this cat is one you should not bring into your home. Firstly, Caracals are incredibly athletic and agile cats that are known for their incredible jumping ability. They're capable of leaping up to 12 feet in the air from a standing position, which is higher than almost any domesticated cat. This has allowed them to evolve to be excellent hunters, but it also means they can easily escape from enclosures or jump over a fence, which can be a danger to other animals or humans nearby. So basically, they're hard to control. So even if you get this cat and you think you wanna have it inside, they can easily escape jumping, moving, and manipulating anything to get out of enclosures. Secondly, caracals have sharp claws and teeth, which they use to kill and catch prey. They are skilled hunters that can take down animals larger than themselves, such as gazelles, rabbits, and even small antelopes. So if you have other animals in your house, small children, this just won't go well. This means they have a strong predatory instinct and drive that can be difficult to control, especially if they're kept in a domesticated setting. You combine their high prey drive with their athletic ability and it's a bad combination to have inside your home. Thirdly, caracals are known to be fiercely independent and territorial animals that are require a lot of space and freedom to roam. This is not a cuddly cat that wants to be around you all the time. Instead, they have an independent streak and they want to do their own thing. They're not like domesticated cats that can be kept indoors or in a small enclosure for extended periods. Instead, they need access to large outdoor spaces where they can hunt and explore and have an outlet for their strong predatory instincts which can be a challenge for most pet owners. And if you live somewhere where there's other people around, you're constantly wondering what they're doing and wondering if they're hunting your neighbor's pets. So in conclusion, while caracals may look beautiful and fascinating, they're not suitable for everyone as pets. They require a lot of care, attention, and specialized knowledge to keep them safe and others around you safe and healthy. So if you're considering a caracal as a pet, Make sure you do your research and understand the risks and challenges that come along with owning such a wild and dangerous animal. Thanks for watching and we hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Caracal cat and whether or not this dangerous cat is right for you and your family.